G'day guys, a lemon eating cow here, and today we're playing something a little bit different, actually. <clears throat> I actually almost forgot this thing was happening this weekend, but luckily Mistol reminded me. Uh, so the beta for Metal Gear Survive is actually active this weekend. Um, I don't know whether it's up worldwide at the moment, or whether it'll be up in a couple of days, or a day or so, or whatever, but it does run over the full weekend. I think it goes for about three days. If you can't find it in your PlayStation Store, try searching for Metal Gear Survive in the actual search option. That's how I found it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Of course, Hideo Kojima has left the Metal Gear project, so this is a Konami-helmed uh, project, I guess. I don't... I played a little bit of it. It's very different from the normal uh, Metal Gear series, so we'll jump in and we'll have a look at it. And there's Plain Target right down there. What a champion that guy is. Um, he really is. He's a champ. Uh, I'm going to cut the sound down a little bit. And then we'll jump in. The character creator in it is actually really quite good. So, yeah, we'll check it out. Anyway. <clears throat> God damn my throat. Um, hello to the uh, Moogles there in the chat. Jackie M. Hello. Uh, Chopper Chopper Man. G'day, mate. Uh, Rhea Roberts. Hello. Or Dragon Vex. Uh, who else we got? Animano Juby. Hello, mate. Uh, and also, hello to Hank Roach, Master Chief Snake, or MCS. Infinite Potatoes. Hello. Wait. Am I... Is that a name, or is that something type? Yes, Infinite Potatoes. Jesus. Nice name, man. Nice name. Um, Kringar Gaming. Hello. Joe Clark. G'day, mate. Arya Saskia. Hello. Hello. Timothy. G'day, mate. All right, so selecting... Uh, We'll just leave it on this, whatever it is. I don't... Yeah. Sean Keating. G'day, mate. Falcus. G'day, buddy. Super Destroyer and Bootstrap Jim. Bunthan Kong as well. Hello. Uh, accept. I don't know if you guys played the Dragon Ball Fighters thingy, but my god. Um, you had to scroll down about 42 million pages of uh, agreements to actually play the game. Do I think Kojima will ever make another Metal Gear Solid game? No. no never. He, it's he's opened his own studios now i think it's kojima studios and he's pretty like yeah he pretty much got his like they just kicked him straight out of the project so yeah well uh i, I doubt he'll ever come back to metal gear solid i in fact i doubt konami will ever go back to form with its games so yeah g'day mistal how you doing mate g'day carpo music too um, this is an open download, open beta, as far as I know. Anybody can download it, as far as I know. I do have PlayStation Plus. I haven't seen any mentions of PlayStation Plus, but I think it is available to everybody. I imagine the full release would require PlayStation Plus, though, I, but I can't confirm it at the moment. G'day, 691. Howdy from South Australia. Ah, g'day. From Down Under, Down Under. Uh, first stream I've joined on this channel. Love your videos for Final Fantasy XV. I'm looking to see more of your content. Cool. Thanks, man. Well, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in on the chat. Um, what I'm going to do is delete this character. I went in and... Ah, okay. Storehouse items? Good stuff. Okay, we'll get rid of them. Um, I went in and had a bit of a muck around with the game. I got my ass handed to me. They said, hey, cow, here's your ass. And I went, thank you, buddy. And uh, that was it. But we'll jump into the character creator and have a bit of a look around that. It's actually, it's pretty good for the character. It's actually really good for the character creator. Really good. Chop Chop, huh? <laughs> I've... Hey, Chop Chop, Chop Chop. <laughs> I was meaning to ask you, are you a... Are you a ICP fan by chance? Is that like a Hatchet Man reference or... Uh, let's make a Mally. We'll call him... Oh, let's come up with an original name, huh? I'm thinking something really original, like Lemon... Maybe Lemon Eating Cow? That sounds original. Uh, yeah, we'll name Lemon Eating Cow. There you go. Uh, Hollow Man, I believe it is an open beta. Look at me. Matt Damon. He kind of has that better look to it. Uh, you can whole, choose a whole heap of different, like, basic shapes of faces. Neanderthal. Um, bit of Mike Tyson action there, maybe? 
yeah, so the character creator create is actually pretty deep. It's um quite good, actually. Like, really good. Yeah, my god. I'll just go with a standard ass dude. Change the hairstyle. Uh, I'm I believe in the open in the full version, maybe you unlock more hairstyles, or it looks like there would be more hairstyles. Our eyebrow shape. Oh, look, it's me. No eyebrows. Oh, very, very pale ones. I hate my life. Um, let's just keep them pretty standard. Facial hair type. The interesting thing about facial hair too, like we can go a beard, and he's like, yeah, I just glued some pubes on my face. But then you can actually, like, make it a bit bushier. So you can like change the length of it. I I don't I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. So that's pretty good. I like it. Um, that's pretty cool. And we'll go blonde. Hey, I'm a blondie dude. Oh, that's exactly me. I mean, he's not as muscular as me, but you know, not everyone can be this uh, chiseled. But you can do brow stuff, uh, tips. Uh, eyes, you can change position of the eyes, colors of the eyes. A really interesting thing you can do with the eyes, actually. We'll keep them open. Um, you can change the colors of your eyes independently. You can even have, like, cataract eyes. Um, so say I can have a green eye, and then the other eye, we can make a red eye. It's cool, man. It's awesome. I don't know if you'll ever be actually seeing your eyes in the game, but what a wicked touch. I think that's really cool. Um, you can change the eye glint, too. So it kind of takes that uh, the brightness out of the eye if you need to, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, cheeks, you can change your cheeks position, the nose position, everything about the nose as well. Um, one of the options is to put a balaclava on your head anyway, so it kind of hides everything, but, and jawline as well. Then we have skin color, of course. Um, you go through all the different ranges of skin color. And most of the features you can kind of tune to the different um, like region or racial tones, I guess. So <laughs> you can have a brown eye. Yes, you can. Um, and then you can put wrinkles. Um, even though they put a grizzled wrinkle character here, I don't I don't think he has as many wrinkles as me. So you got to brush up on your wrinkle game there, Konami. Uh, but I, I, I actually really like the character creator. I think it's it's pretty robust. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, that looks a lot more like me, doesn't it? Look at that. Horrible skin. Awesome. It's just on point there. On point. And then we can do features, so we got tattoos. Why would you not? It's a bullet with butterfly wings. That sounds like a good name of a song, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> that is hilarious, man. <laughs> I, I couldn't take a guy like that seriously. He'd probably kill me. But I couldn't take him seriously. I couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't. I'd be like, yeah, whatever, man, just kill me. But you're a joke. That looks like the tattoo from Raven from uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, maybe? And then we have white variations of the tattoos, uh, like camo paint, I guess. All right. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Pretty good options. Then you have Wicked Scars. The Scars actually look pretty good. Usually I don't like Scars in games, but these ones are actually done pretty well, I think. They're like pronounced, but subtle. That doesn't make any sense, but I like it. It's good. Good shit, man. I'm a grizzled veteran. And then you can check the voices. The good thing about the voices is... Cover me! Cover me! You can try the different voices. Copy! No way! Enemy spotted! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! And they've got different go. types of voices. Go, go, go! Sorry about but that. But the great thing is you can change pitch in their voice. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I need cover. <laughs> Understood. And then you can go. Understood. That won't work. I see an enemy. Go, go, go! It, it, they have actually done it pretty good. Like it makes it. Um, go, go, go! Um, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! It makes it a lot of variations, the voices, just by changing the tone, so I like it. It's good. Actually, I'll put the chat box on up here. Blah, blah. Am I being paid to hype this game? Spartan man, no. Um, no, I'm not. It's an, it's an open beta, it's a free, mate. Make him sound like me. Alright. Where's the squeaker bitch voice? Is that a squeaker bitch go, voice? Go, go, go! <laughs> That'll sound like me, won't it? Go, go, go! I sound like this, go, I sound like go, a real man. Go. 
Oh yeah, baby. My fault. That sounds like me. Talk like this on every stream. My fault. This is more like me. Hey guys, Lemonated Cow here. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We'll keep it Get on this out. one. Good luck. We'll go that. That sounds like me. Very authoritative. Very uh, powerful voice. That sounds like me. Um, Alright, that's pretty much a character creator. You can't really do much with your actual body, uh, but I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, I know this is not the mo most exciting thing about it, but let's go... We'll have a quick look at the females, see if we've got any extra options. If they let us adjust our bus size, that'll be ridiculous. I mean... I'm almost... I'm thinking they will, but it's ridiculous. Anamayua! Guten Abend. Um, um, ich bin gut. <laughs> um, I don't know how to reply to that. Anyway, um, hello. Uh, okay, so the women's women have just as many options, I guess. Cool, man. Looking good. It looks like they're gonna have pretty much the same options, just a bit. Wow, their hairstyles are even pretty much the same. All right. No long hair, though. No even tied up hair. I guess that makes more sense from a military perspective, but... Uh, same eyebrow things. Red? Oh, that's not red. It's kind of red, but it's not really red. Anyway. Um, brow, again. Uh, we'll skip all the jaw lines and eyes and stuff like that. Basically the same thing. See what the skin tones are like. You can go pretty dark with it, too. It's so, It gives a kind of broad range of the colors, so that's pretty good. Oh, wrinkles. Oh, dude, she looks haggard. Look at that. Alright, we'll just keep them fresh-faced. And then we'll uh, see what the tattoos are like. It looks like a... T <laughs> ah. See, if I saw a woman with a tattoo like that, I'd probably be more scared than the guy, but... Um, yeah. Oh, I got a nice birdie on my head. Cool. So it's basically the same. It doesn't give you extra options and stuff. Thank you! Cover me! Need cover! I need cover. I need cover. Understood. I can't do that. <laughs> Not gonna happen! Ciao, Ciao. Alright. Um, I think we'll rock... We'll... We'll roll with that dude, huh? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'll just pick whatever. But, I just wanted to show off... Okay, we're, we're no-named now, apparently. Um... I just wanted to show off uh, the character creation. At the end of the day, I don't think it's going to matter that much because you can put on balaclavas and all that s s type of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, any hair in a fight could be a disadvantage, actually. Short or long. Um, No, Spartan, it, it mainly receives hate because of what Konami did to Hideo Kojima and a lot of people worried of with the direction K Konami are going in because they are kind of you know they got rid of the person that created the series so of course people are going to hold a lot of resentment towards it but I'm just going to go in I'm going to have a look at the game I'm not thinking about Kojima anything like that you know just going to have a look at the game and see how it plays hello Anima Iowa by the way did any other Moogles jump in the chat yeah all right uh, anyway, welcome to the Metal Gear Survive beta. This version of the game allows you to play salvage missions. Weapons and gear are kept in the storehouse. Make sure you're properly equipped for the missions you undertake. Various tutorials available from the database section of your iDroid device. Press the touchpad as well. Rewards earned from salvage missions can be used to upgrade weapons and gear. In addition, you can learn new skills by adding Kuban energy, the energy that you mine. Work with allies to complete harder missions and earn better rewards. I believe this is a co-op beta as well. I'm not sure really how that functions yet, but we'll have a look. Um, what I'm really concerned about in this game... Check it out. Man, we look bulk as. Um, what I'm concerned about in this game is microtransactions. Now we know Metal Gear Solid 5 or The Phantom Pain did have microtransactions and I'm guessing this one, the way it's structured, is definitely going to have um, microtransactions. Especially because if you check the supply box you get mailed rewards much like a mobile game as far as I can tell. Like by me logging in this morning I actually got a login bonus. So I think they're going to... I can't be sure. I don't know the full thing of it. But I think 
it is um, going to be similar to a mobile game structure. I, I could be wrong. Don't judge it off just what I've said, but that's the impression that I get. Um, I got some rewards for completing the first mission. Well, I got a, I got a shitty score on it, but still. Uh, it looks like they've sent me some rewards, so we'll get these out. We'll check out our loadouts and stuff like that, and then, uh, yeah, get it going. But it looks like it's gifting us ammunition, so it's possible. Is this rejecting it back to me? Can I not loot it? Learn new recipe. All right, I guess. Um, it's possible they're sending me ammunition, so maybe you have to craft all your ammunition as well, which uh, could be annoying, especially if they... If you go to do a mission, but you can't do it because you don't have the ammunition, and then you think, oh, I have to buy premium credits to get the ammunition, that would be that would be a complete deal breaker for me. But like I said, it's a bit too early to tell. So you can kit out your person with um, heaps of different stuff. Primary hip, you can go between three different weapon types. Looks like uh, one-handed weapons, and then we have like two-handed. We got the battle axe, and then uh, an assault rifle. So... We'll go to the Battle Axe for this one. And then we get a Primary on the back. We got Survival Spear, Sledgehammer, or Survival Bow. Um, let's get a Bow action going, huh? Um, actually, why don't I take... Instead of that, I'll take the Assault Rifle on my Primary, and then I'll put the Sledgehammer on my back. You actually need a good melee weapon to break stuff down in this. Oh, see you, Jubes. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, resources, you have to actually break them down to obtain them basically so we got a sawn off and then we got wow that gun is way better how is that way more power than a 12 gauge sawn off anyway um our second secondary i guess we'll chuck that in there then you can have like gadgets and stuff we'll go some model of cut model of cocktails um but you can go mines as well uh these are machine guns that you can place down i did have before Let's grab some spinning traps. Oh, I can't do it. See, I've got only a certain amount of slots that I can carry. So, um, yeah, because I occupy them with the thingy, I can't really carry that much more. Can we go? And then you can put fences as well. You can have barricades up. Um, let's go spiked barricades, huh? What else can we carry? Uh, wooden barricades, sandbag, foothold, uh, flame trap, flush track, shop track shock trap um let's put some of these mines in here huh yeah i'm gonna mine the crap out of it and then you can do gear as well so you can put on the balaclava <laughs> looks pretty cool cowboy hat yeehaw beret oh the beret looks pretty good they do have different stats on them too and different weights uh then we have the gear as well it can all be seen on your person and they have different weights different durability different um stats to them basically so yeah um let's go kind of light build huh light elbow pads let's go that one and we'll go the urban combat we got no accessories for the head air tank apparently you have to wear an air tank essential for operating in the dust yeah um survival gear small left gadget sling ah oh, we can use more gadgets if we do that Good stuff and we don't have a bow, so we don't need the quiver. And then we have to take a certain amount of ammunition as well. Uh, we're using the 5.56, so it's, it, we've already got 60 of 90, it looks like. So, yeah, why not? Um, anyway, there we go. Oh, see, we can take more left and right slots there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That means we can put a couple more in the... Yeah. Uh, let's take some flame traps. It looks like there's an oil trap there, so maybe you can put down a combination of, like, um, oil trap and then a flame trap, and you'll set them alight, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Chopper, when you start the game, you don't... You have to finish a mission at least once to get the, uh, the extra stuff. Then you've also got healing items. I don't really know how to use these yet. I'm a bit scrubby when it comes to all these. I've still got to work out the button layouts, but revival pills taping kit there's all different status ailments that that'll, that'll cure and here's all my materials and you use the materials to edit weapons and stuff like that but before we get too deep into the menus let's jump in and like actually beat the crap out of stuff 
Uh, that is a training thingy. And you can see here my loadout, which is awesome. I think if you have teammates, you can see their loadouts as well. So it's a cool way to kind of like match up what you're using. I think that's a really nice touch. You go over here and we'll accept the mission. Salvage mission. Uh, we've only got one at the moment. And then, once you've done that, you can go over here. You can see the mission information, which is really cool. Really cool. I like that touch. The presentation is really nice. I'm just really worried about the microtransactions and stuff. But otherwise, it does have a single player campaign, as far as I know, because it lets you... There's an option to exit back out to single player, but you, it's not accessible at the moment. This is just multiplayer mode at the moment. And yes, this is on the PS4 Pro and it is open beta. It should be able to be downloaded right now. Just search for Metal Gear Survive. G'day, Awkward Shade and Rob Alpha Wolf. Hello. So I, I will say I'm not very good at this when I first played it, but I think it's one of those type of games that each time you do a mission, you know, you kind of get a little bit better, you get more resources, you upgrade your weapons, and then you finish the mission. I, I don't really know if it's meant to be like you finish the mission the first time you try it. That's the, that's the um, impression I get of it anyway. So it, it feels, to control, it feels very much like Metal Gear Solid 5 if you played it. Um, it feels alright to, to play. The melee weapons though... Hit balls. The melee weapons seem a bit clunky to use, but I don't know. I, I, do, I don't like the melee combat that much, but the gunplay seems fine. The I would imagine, I'm not sure if this is coming out on the um, on the PC, but I would very much like to have more keybinds in front of me. A lot of buttons you have to like double tap to go through different menus to select different things. I don't I don't really like the setup yet. Maybe if I get used to it, I will. But I would much prefer to have a mouse and keyboard with heaps of binds next to me. So, yeah, no cardboard box yet. I haven't seen a cardboard box. So these are the Kuban crystals. Um, these are the things that you use to um, spend and upgrade your stuff. You can get them through other means, but generally how you get resources here is by breaking stuff. So we got a fence here. Well... Maybe not the fence, but the uh, the drum here, you can see it's got iron resources in it. You have to break the iron down, then you can pick it up. Uh, we'll run to the base, though, because that's where a lot of the stuff comes from. We got a little baddie up there. We can actually stealth kill these guys. I don't know how they detect us, because they don't have heads, but... Um, anyway, these are the zombies in it. So they're not really zombies, they're like crystal booties. I don't know what the explanation is behind them, but yeah. Uh, we'll see them attacking. They start coming in waves in about two and a half minutes. But it, pretty much everything is bustable, so, or breakable. So we can break these down and take the wood and nails. And it's actually pretty important because you have, you have to use those to upgrade your weapons and build, um, build different kits within the actual game. So looks like they spotted us, so we'll melee the crap out of them. <laughs> it looks like they're kind of crystalline as well. You can hear them shatter. I guess that's how they're going to get around the whole gore thing as well. No. Wow. I know you're a big strong army chick. I would think they should swing it a little bit faster, but anyway. Uh, this is going to be the little thing that we have to protect. Here will be, well there you go. There's a resource collector. And we have to protect that while it uh, gets resources. You've also got a storage point here. So you can change your kit a little bit. Um, and then in the house, we just have a shit ton of resources. So I don't know if every level is going to be like this. I imagine this is more just a tutorial one. But we'll grab some of these up and see what we can do with it. But I'm gonna only going to have a minute to make my stuff. So we'll see how it goes. That looks like a crafting or upgrading bench there, too. There we go. Man, heaps of stuff. So a lot of it's going to be collecting and gathering so that you can actually 
uh, make your traps and upgrade your weapons and stuff. But completing the mission or surviving the mission will actually get you a, a decent amount of stuff anyway. So I need to find some cement. I haven't been able to find it yet. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's collecting stuff. We'll have a look at the weapon bench and see what we can do with it. Otherwise, um, let us actually... We'll set up some fences and we'll get ready for a, f a couple of waves against these guys, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> that's probably... I don't think that's a good way to play. I'm still getting used to the buttons, so... Um, here we go. Put up a spiked fence, maybe here. We'll choke him here, maybe. I'm guessing the durability of that's going to be, like, non-existent, but anyway. Uh, we'll kind of force them to go around this way a little bit. I don't really know how the enemies approach too much yet, so we'll give it a shot. Um, we'll try that, huh? And what else have we got over there? Did I get any more barrier? We got mines as well. I think I'll hold that on the mines. Oop, it looks like it's going to start soon. So we'll get some... Uh, we might hold off on the gun. We'll get some um, get some sledgehammer action going to start off with. So this thing has started mining, and I don't know if you can see the progress of it or not, but we should start seeing them. Yeah, you can see down the bottom it's saying total iris energy extracted, and you can see it filling up from the A, and then it goes to the D, and that denotes which wave you're going to kind of be in. Where are they, man? Oh, shit. All right. Uh, let's take this dude out. <laughs> oh, Alright. But the combat does feel satisfying. Maybe these early weapons are just really slow, but I hope you can get a bit faster weapons. Maybe the one-hander weapons will be a, a bit better, but... I'll turn the sound down a little bit. Holy crap, look at all them. Um... Well, definitely... We have to do this, right? Wait, that's not right. Um, oh. Oh, okay. I don't know why we obtained all that. Oh, is it, there's some dude trashing my stuff over there. Ah, it looks like you can see where they're coming in from, too. The arrows denote where they're coming in from. Ah, oh, what a lackluster mine that was. Dude, I feel so ripped off. Oh, <laughs> shit. That mine, I thought it was going to be really explosive and cool, but it wasn't. Okay, let's uh, let's take this dude out. No. Oh. Okay, so don't hit your own mine. Huh? That's probably pretty good advice. Get out of there, son. Woman, son. <laughs> Man, that's okay. Now I know why it's so slow. Because you can take out a massive amount at once. Uh, I think I had a shredder thingy, didn't I? Oh, let's do this shit. They're all coming in from here. This is like a upside down lawnmower, basically. Oh, we got it. Oh, I broke my trap. Ah, oh, man, I shouldn't have placed it down. Oh, well. Man, that was cool. <laughs> Good shit. I don't know what my healing is yet, though. I don't really know how to access it. Um, oh, here, maybe... Maybe I didn't bring any healing items. Except I don't know how to set them. Oh, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah, I don't really know how to set them. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. So we've got now two and a half minutes to pre pre prepare for the next wave. So advanced, advanced gadget thingy. We can repair what we've got. But we're looking pretty good, all over 95%. Uh, we can craft extra stuff. See down the bottom left-hand corner, you can see like the uh, the requirements to um, the requirements to uh, Captain Cooley. Fuck you, buddy. Um, the requirements. I don't have a lot of these requirements, but as we clear stuff in the mission, we we get the requirements for these to make these uh, these spiked barriers and heavy machine gun. We can actually put down as well sandbag foothold all that stuff so in between the waves you have to go around and collect different materials and stuff i still don't know really know where to get them all but yeah g'day elf biscuits how you doing and here we go at the weapon bench maybe we can make something cool huh 
Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we can buy more ammo as well. That's pretty cool. Let's buy... Can we? Yeah, we'll make some of that. Chink. Yes. Okay, we'll make one more of those. Chink. Alright, and then you can make heavy, like, arrows and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it would be... It would take a lot of learning, I guess, to try and work out what's what. Um, but, I don't know. I, I kind of like it so far. I It's going to be a big learning curve to see what traps are effective, what weapons are effective. But as long as the microtransactions aren't too outrageous, it might be a bit of fun. But, I don't know. I'm apprehensive. I really am. So, Elf Biscuits. What? Who's got a concussion? Elf biscuits, what happened? Are you okay? Dude. Oh man, that's no good. If you start to feel really odd, make sure you go to the uh, hospital. Those things can go bad pretty quick. Okay, so it looks like we've got... I remember, I I don't know if I could have told you guys this story about me falling off my the first floor balcony of my house and landing on the back of my head. Maybe we'll kill some zombies and I'll tell you about it in, be in between. Although I don't feel like I'm going to survive this wave. I think this one has bombers in it too. Um, oh, what's... Dude, that's intense. It's like a mosquito zapper. Except for huge zombies. Okay, where... Can we see any massive... Oh, bomber. Alright. I didn't survive long at all. I got up to these bombers last time, and they just destroyed me. I need to build more barriers and stuff like that, but... Um, go a flame trap, huh? Hopefully they last a little bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. He's getting zapping acuted. Oh, that's not what I want to do. No. These guys, when they go full red, they actually explode, so... Um, oh! Not good, but they can take out each other, so uh, they're actually good for that. Get out of there, mate! Yeah. Looks like that other guy's ouch blowing up in the back there. No, no, no. Okay. No, get out! Get out! Run! Wow, that is a. Alright, uh, that is a heavy uh, sledgehammer. My god. Jesus. Alright. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, honey, they have talked about nothing to do with uh, summoning Ifrit and Bahamut yet, so whether we will or not, it doesn't. It's, yeah. I, I don't know if we'll be able to do it soon. I can summon Bahamut in uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy. So there you go. Um, terrible effort there from me. Very terrible effort. Um, awesome. So awesome. So yeah, it's definitely going to take a bit of practice and uh, learning what works, what doesn't work. I definitely need more barricades and stuff. I'll jump back in there though quickly. It. I don't... We'll see if they have multiplayer missions. It looked like there was another tab across here, so... Standing missions, normal. I... Is there a multiplayer? There's a daily mission as well. Wrecked base. What do we have to do? Wave progression. Iris energy. Is Iris energy maybe... Oh no, that's the same thing. Looks like there's better rewards from that. Those, they're normal, that's easy. And then here is like the... Quick match. Does that mean we can play with other people? Alright, either way, I'll have to have a quick look at my loadout. Uh, I'm not sure if it runs at 60 FPS, mate. I can't can't really test that here. It it looks good, so. <laughs> G'day, Zakazuli, mate. How you doing? Um, let us get some more. So I think those fences and stuff have been expended, yeah. So I would have to totally like, make a whole new bunch of fences to be able to use them, I assume. Yeah, see, I've only got three left, so they're actually not effective at all. Maybe we put on some of these instead. Um, the shock trap wasn't... 
Oh man, we got like nothing left, eh? So yeah, I guess it'd be a lot about crafting weapons and items between the missions. Um, have we already got model of? Yeah. Grab some more of those. Stuff. What is this? Remotely activated it allows you user to warp to the location where it was placed. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, what else have we got? Anything else cool that we can use? I wish I still had the machine gun. I kind of wasted it before, but... Probably put up more fence and stuff, huh? We've got the barricades anyway. Just take two more of those. Um, otherwise, there's not much else I can really change. I could probably wear stronger gear. And then see if that I can take a bit more of beating. Because I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hit a lot. So, yeah. And uh, you can actually... Eh, uh, so with the um, with the Cooper, is it Cooper? Cooper energy, or Cooper energy you get. You can actually spend it on your character, and you can level yourself up through like a uh, a skill tree almost, and you can level up your strength boost, vit boost, dex boost, and and endurance boost. And I think the more stars you put into it, you can upgrade these um, these skills here. So like this one has number of combo attacks with one-handed weapons increases. Uh, unleash a more powerful one-handed weapon attack. Form a special attack with one-handed weapons, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've actually got one... Press square. Let's try that. You can actually learn the different skills. So we'll learn that. We'll take a one-handed weapon into it. These are like drop attacks, I think. So instead of taking the sledgehammer, we might take a... Uh, bit of a machete into it. Machete. And uh, we'll try it out. I didn't even use the gun that one, so I didn't get an opportunity to. So we'll use the gun. Really? I can't have the assault rifle and the machete? That is... Dog shit. I don't like that. So, yeah. Hey, Cameron. I don't really need your bullshit in the chat, so you can just piss off. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna... I've got guns there. I wish I could use a machete in my main hand and then just have a gun on my back. I don't know why we don't have that option, but... Oh, well. Um, I have a spear as well, huh? All right, let's try that. I'll jump in for another quick game. I don't know if you can matchmake with friends or PlayStation Party. It doesn't seem like that at the moment. I don't really seem to have the... Uh, the option to. We'll have a look. Go that again. Uh, how do you get this? It should be open to everybody on the PlayStation Store, mate. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Like, Cameron, dude, I'm, I just started playing the game. Of course I don't know how to do it all properly, dude. I would have switched to a gun if that dude hadn't have blown, blown me up. Plus, guns have very limited ammo in this. Oh, look. Looks like there's a sky drop, like a... A warp drop there or something. Alright, let's 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 take out this dude. So you get quite a bit of prep time. I imagine if you had quite a few people, you could kind of... Um, I think this is like a four-player co-op. So you could say to your teammates, like, you be the fence guy. This other guy be, say, he's the claymore trap guy. Or you could kind of designate roles to people, I imagine. Maybe that would, uh, like, help out your, uh, your gameplay. Wasn't there a crate drop around here? I'm sure there was. Maybe in the middle there. It looks like there's a dead dude there as well. Whoa, massive slowdown there. Oh, as if, buddy. Oh, shit. I'm pressing R2. It's not really doing much. Boom! Take that, buddy. Um, look at those crates. No, whatever. Oh, I'm... I'm not going to be stuck limping now, am I? Hey, Chopper Chopper Man. Wait. What the crap? Are you in... What? <laughs> How? What? Can you just jump into my game? Oh, cure. Wait a sec. What was that? Cure, you press right. Taping kit. 
and you hold X to treat it. Oh, there you go. I, yeah, I, I guess. That's a weird mechanic. Oh, shit. Oh, there's Chopper. <laughs> ah, dude, so if anyone's friends with me um, on PSN, feel free to jump into our games if you want. <laughs> We're sneaky snakes here, people. Um, I just, I despise it in games where you can get shot with bullets, like three or four bullets and not die. Um, you can get chewed on by zombies and not die, but spraying your ankle and it's like game over. I guess, I think that's the most useless mechanic. Like, come on, really? What a shitty mechanic. Anyway, whatever. Get him chops. Look at chops. Stealth him out, mate. Oh! Cool. I'm already digging it more that we got uh, someone else in it. Uh, Zaka, I don't know how big the game is, man. Like, I've I've pretty much only... What I'm showing you guys now is pretty much what I've seen. Um, I haven't had much experience on this game at all. We... We could stealth them, but I think we should use our time more to get the uh, get our resources together. You can't hurt your teammates though, can you? That'd be pretty crappy. Sounds like there's another zombie around. Oh, over here. Oh, you can see the um, exclamation point there? Looks like he's beating up our fence. Hey. Got my torch, buddy. Oh, it looks like Chop's got the uh, machete. Much like his namesake, I guess. Evan, it should be available for everybody on the PS4, so. Alright, let's go, Chops. There's heaps of resources in the house too, Chopper. Chink. But it might be a pretty bit of good fun playing uh, multiplayer, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how the single player campaign is. So it's actually preferable in this mode uh, to let your node die. Um, like the, uh, the collector to die, because last time the collector got blown up, but I lived, and I was able to take the, however much the collector collected in that map, and then I could take him back and change my weapons up and stuff at the main base, so it's definitely preferable that you live and the collector dies, like it's, uh, that's a preferable outcome to you actually dying. Let me break this. No. Ooh. Go all the way up here too. I I still don't know where we can get the cement though. There's rubber. I haven't found anywhere that has cement. A lot of the things it seems like the barricades take cement to make. So um, I don't really know where to get that yet though. It's possible. It's very possible that it's not actually out in the U.S. yet. As in the PlayStation Store will have to refresh possibly for the uh, for the uh, the beta to show up. So expect to see it within the next, you know, 10, 10 to 12 hours or so if you're in the US, I would imagine. Bling! So it, they use all the sound effects from um, Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 as well. Oh, okay. We've got no defenses down right now. I don't think we need them for the... Oh, we probably do for the first wave, huh? Did that again. The buttons, that's what I mean about the buttons being a little bit cluttered. Um, like one but the same button to use the model of is to throw the model of and I don't know if I'm too keen on that, but anyway. Okay, it looks like they're coming in from these ways. Oh, they, they actually warp in. You can see them falling out of the sky back there. <laughs> the thing is with fences though, if we attack the fence... Is it going to break the fence? Oh no, we can attack them through the fence. That's actually pretty cool. Alright. This wall is a bit weak here, isn't it? So we'll try and reinforce that a little bit. So they're also coming in from over here, so... Oh, there we go. But we can't go through the wooden fence, so... That must be... That would be one of the advantages of having the, uh, having the, um, oh, there we go. Definitely having one of the advantages of having the wire fe fence or the mesh fence. Have we got crawlers there? I can't see one. Let's see if Chop needs a hand here. Awesome, man. That spear is really cool. Okay, let's switch to the spear. Sorry, Chop, I'm being a bit lame here. 
Bam. Cool, man. Good tactic. Wait, did I get hit from behind then, or did he hit me through it? Red approaching defense target. Wait. Alright. We got anyone through here? Cool. I, I like the idea of it. I really do. I guess... I hope Konami doesn't Konaminize it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the carry, Chopper. Okay, there's more coming in from here, it seems. Oh, shit. A lot of them. Are they gonna get... I think they get nuked now. Yeah. Okay, so you just have to survive the wave. I wonder if you can revive your buddies too, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that medical spray? Ah, that's awesome, man. That's classic. <laughs> Commencing side mission. Ammunition resupply. Ah, oh, cool. See that, Chops? We'll go to the ammunition resupply. Ah, okay. Interesting. It looks like... Maybe I've still got that... Looks like I've still got a, a status ailment on me. Oh, did I get... Old treat. Oh, I got no polter poltus. Poltice? So I can't do it. Yeah, chops. Good work, mate. Oh, these are level 15. Get out, get out, get out. Uh these are level 15 dudes. Let's shoot their asses. There we go. Looks like I'm bleeding too. Maybe I've got something to cure that. Styptic kit. Yeah, I don't have any kits for it. So, it looks like you'll have to actually bring in, um... Bring in kits for these different status ailments, which... Yeah, I don't know how annoying that'll be, but... Maybe I'll have to go back and craft one, huh? Yeah, I should, because I think I'm going to bleed out. Awesome. Oh. I think this would actually be pretty fun, like a pretty fun game. If you had a few mates together, just uh, kicking the crap out of zombies, I think it would actually be a pretty fun game. As long as your progress... <laughs> Sorry, Chops. As long as your progress doesn't get completely halted by the fact that, uh, like, you need microtransaction credits or something. So, yeah. I do know the way. Not yet, though. Oh, there's the ammunition resupply. Okay. Chopper, there's a uh, ammunition resupply here, mate. But I wonder if I can make any of the med packs, because if I can't, that'll be a real big kick in the balls. Med spray. Aluminium and golden crescent, which we don't have. TNT. See, we, we're lacking a lot of materials at the moment. Oh. Oh, actually, I think... Is that shared hangar? So I think we can put some... Maybe we can put some medical stuff in that. Otherwise, I don't really have any medical gear. I'll have to sort that out next time, huh? Looks like I'm going to bleed to death. Maybe not. I don't know. Nope. The, uh, the blood dripping is informative, but it's uh, quite annoying. <laughs> okay, let's get this shit done. So, Chopper, it's much more preferable to just let the thingy blow up than die. So don't be a hero, mate. See you, MCS. Have a good one, mate. I don't have any more fences either. I got some claymores though. Um, I might actually put a claymore down here. Get one of those blower, the bloated guys, the bomber guys. And it looks like there's a bomber coming in from there. Um, I might try this. Paching. What else have we got? It looks like I got, like, nearly no ammo, though. Oh, choppers. Watch out, mate. Get, get some of this action going. Oh, are these guys smart? They're actually going to stay away from the fence. Oh, that's it. Uh, uh, uh. I'm telling Chops not to be a hero, and I'm getting wasted myself. Okay.
Surely they can't blow up when they're like dead, though, right? Oh, they can. Alright. Alright, so the guns seem quite powerful then. I should save them for the, uh, the crawler dudes, alright? Oh, chops. Oh, I was gonna throw one where that big bob was, but. Oh! Ooh. Okay, they're on fire. Cancel. Uh, what else have I got? <laughs> oh, flame trap. Let's put a flame trap down here. There you go, buddies. So yeah, I'd much prefer the uh, the collector to die than us. So, ah, oh, I thought he was gonna copy that. Oh, weird that these crystalline things can get, or crystalline things can get, like caught on fire. But anyway, <laughs> hey, get off there, mate. Hello, I'm digging it so far. I think it's a bit of fun. Oh, we're actually, we're not going too bad so far, Chops. As long as... I wish I could heal this goddamn thing. we got 20 seconds. Um, hopefully these guys... The explosion of these claymores see ti seem tiny. Like, they're not too effective. Oh. I think it's going to take him out. I think we're good, Chops. They're all going to get nuked. Oh! Good stuff. Yeah, I well, I don't think Nick. I think the the development won't be affected as much as five because they're not going to be like Walker gear resupply. Ooh. Um, let's go get the Walker gear chops. Um, I imagine because they're not going to be kicking out their main producer, they're not going to have as many development problems with this one. So, yeah. Hey, Larry Sims Jr. G'day, mate. How you doing? It looks like there's going to be zombies all over it, though. Ka chink There you go. Oh, no way. Armored zombies. I wish I could get rid of this bloody blood, though. Uh, maybe we'll have a look around for some golden... thing and jigs? I wonder what the map... Do we have a map that'll tell us where resources are or anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, <laughs> I heard a growl. I was like, nah. Chops, I don't think we can do it, man. We're like level 1 or 2 or... No, I think we're level 10. Oh, shit. I've got a couple of bullets. What If we get some ammo and stuff, we could probably take it on, but I don't think it's a good idea right now. Alright, so we'd have to learn the maps, kind of like know where to go in between and stuff like that. Oh, Alpha Wolf, they've changed the the characters around again or it's just a second change because we should be seeing Noctis come in pretty quickly as well or not quickly pretty soon uh, I'll see how this goes Zaka maybe if there's a do a lot of you people actually have this beta downloaded yeah chopper by completing by surviving this mission as long as you don't die you'll get access to guns afterwards you get a like a after you complete the first mission without dying, they'll kind of send you a care package. So then you get access to a shotgun and some uh, ammo and stuff. So it looks like you can also... I'm not... How do we get up there, though? Maybe you can get up the... Uh... Yeah, maybe you can take pot shots from the tower as well. If you actually have... There's a heavy machine gun that you can set up. You could probably set one up here and then shoot the guys from the road or something like that, possibly. So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, you fucking wow! I'm I'm gonna have to hide in the house, Chopper. I got I can't. I'm I'm not even gonna make it to the house. Are you seeing this shit, Chops? Like that was my fault. Uh, I'm not used to the controls, but it's my fault. 
I just, I don't like these mechanics in these... Why do they keep on putting these crappy mechanics in zombie games? Uh, Chops, I just gotta hide in the house, mate. Otherwise, I'm... I don't think I'll make it, but I'm gonna hide in the house. <laughs> Professional YouTube here, people. Professional YouTuber. Don't come near me, bros. Don't come near me. Uh. Um... <laughs> Hold left on the D-pad, then hold L1. Uh, no. I don't, I don't know if I have a medkit, man. I think I've already used my sprained medkit anyway. So, it was under personal. So, I can go down to cure, but I don't have any of the kits. Yeah, see, there you go. I need a polsters to fix my leg breaks, and I need a styptic kit to stop the bleeding. So... I don't have a healing spray, man. I didn't bring one. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I didn't bring a healing spray. Because I'm a nub sack. Just survive chops and you'll get those uh, those weapons, man. Get out of there, chops! Get out of there, mate! <laughs> Look at him! What a fucking beast! I can be your hero, baby! Yeah, get some sons. Oh, they can't come in the house, can they? Hey, you gotta take your shoes off before you get in the house. That's alright, we got a few of them at least. We'll if we if we survive this chopper, just survive man, get out of there. No, chopper! He's about to die. Oh, chop. Hey, so close too. You can make a turret, Nick, yes, you can. Um, I've just used mine. If you start the beta, you'll be given two of the turrets, default. But I already used mine when I was playing around with it. Yeah, this is Metal Gear, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Hard to tell, eh? Hey, Chop, you're up. Good stuff. You should get the reward, mate. So depending on how much energy was distracted, see we're in that, like, C zone. So we'll get a, um... <laughs> you're a fucking beast, man. Uh, so we'll get, like, C rating for that. But it can go all the way up to S. And depending on what rating you get, you'll get more, uh, more stuff. See, we got a C rank for that. And then if we go triangle, we get the reward list. Which is, this is all the stuff they gave us. So now we can go back to our workbench and kind of, you know, make new, new stuff. Did we get anything? We got some golden crescents, so it looks like we may be able to make some healing items, I hope. But we'll see how it goes. It'd be nice if we can get, like, a riot shield. Ah, oh, look at Chopper's score, man. Jesus. The champion. <laughs> they gave him three onions. <laughs> They're like, mate, you survived the zombie invasion. Here's three onions. Chopper's like, they gave me alcohol, though. Mate, you bring the onions, I'll bring the alcohol, all right? We'll have a good night out for... <laughs> uh, eat food and it will heal you slow. Okay, I didn't know that. There's, I'm still new to this game, so it might, might be a little bit frustrating to watch me, but um, I've, like, played it for pretty much as long as I've been streaming it. That's it, so. Uh, Jackie, if it's not on the Australian store, then it, it's possible that, oh, sorry, if it's not on the American or the European store, it's possibly, possible that you have to wait until, um, until the PSN refreshes. See, we can see choppers get up here, which is... I really like this uh, this aesthetic of the... Um... Hey, there's chopper there. You son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Um, is anyone else in the beta? Does anyone else have it at the moment? If so, you can add me at uh, Ender's Triumph. I don't think it's out for Europe or uh, America yet, but I'm here in Australia, so that's why we've got it. But I will be playing some more of it tomorrow, probably on stream as well, so... Hey! We got an air cannon and a balloon trap. Interesting. To our mailbox. To our supply box. Air cannon. Automatically attack creatures within a certain range. Oh, okay. So it shoots. Does it is it like anti-air? Does it shoot like a gust of air or something? I don't know. Anyway, we'll have a look at that. We might take some arrows on this one, huh? We'll try out the arrow. 
Okay. So this is the mailbox thing where I, they kind of give you daily rewards and stuff. So I'm a bit... Yeah, I'm a bit apprehensive about that whole thing. What else should we try? Let's try the machete. And then uh, we'll also have the survival bow this time. Oh, we didn't even... We forgot to use our handgun or our uh, shotgun. Maybe next time. Uh, model of cocktails are actually really good. I might have to craft some. We'll get some normal fences, because they, they actually prove pretty well with in combination with the spear. Although we don't have the spear anymore, so... We'll see if the machete works through it as well. Uh, uh, maybe we'll take a... Flame arrow quiver. Because we're going to take some flame arrows. Yes. Flame arrows. Any of those bad boys. Uh, I think we're all good. We got rounds for all our weapons. We'll keep the same gear on that we got. Uh, we need to take some like healing spray and stuff, but I, I don't know what it's under. Maybe I have to craft some or something, but I can't... I don't think I have access. Oh, here. Special L1. Ed spray. There you go. Okay. Definitely need some of those. But as far as the stifling kits or stipe kits or whatever, it doesn't look like I have one. Maybe I have to create them. We'll see. Still no bow chopper. Maybe you got different uh, things than me. So here we go. We're in the um, the KUB point thingy. So, okay. Ah, so we have to spend 25,000 points and we'll level up. It looks like. So we'll spend those. There you go, we're now level 11 and we've got one skill point to spend. I see, that's how the points work. Alright. Um, well, we got our one-handed weapon skill before. Vit stat increases according to skill rank, Ma maximum life increase, movement speed and steadying speed, or readying speed increase, and this one, maximum stamina increases. Alright. So that's for thrusting weapons, that's for uh, two-handed weapons and heavy weapons. Trip and Adversary. Form a powerful stomping attack. Parry and attack. Grab an adversary and kick them in any direction. Collect resources from enemies, animals, containers, and other objects quicker. Oh, that's not bad. Form a sidestep when readying a weapon and unleash a dropped attack. Um, I don't know. Let's just level up our strength. Oh, I should have leveled up the health. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's spend some more points. I think we can get another level anyway. Jink! And then we'll level up our health. Let's see how that looks. So it just gave us plus five there. Alright. Oh, should I have saved some of that so I can craft stuff? Get down. Oh, There's the crafting area, which is hella cool. Let's look at med kits, because that's what really let me down that last one, huh? Craft. Craft and stuff. Stip the kick. So we can make one of those. Um, move the inventory. Uh, taping kit. We'll make one of those. I probably need more than one, but anyway. Uh, bandage. We'll just get one of each to kind of cover it for now. Intestinal medicine. Just in case we get the shits or something. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, and now we can improve gear as well. It looks like you can craft gear. And then we can also, uh, I think, customize. Ooh, strengthen. And we can use the Kuban energy for it. I don't know how much it takes. Required cub, 600. Okay, we'll strengthen this then. Ooh. Okay, level it up a little bit. Wonder if we can do it again. Yes. And it raises its durability and its strength, it looks like. Let's keep going, huh? Let's make it a complete badass. Ah, we need a more cub for it. Alright, so that's pretty cool. It looks like it's a good uh, crafting system. Also, um, I'll show you guys this one, actually. Um, customize, I think, the weapons. You can actually put optional parts onto it. So, uh, suppressor. So, not so much noise. Um, compact, lights, stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I should probably take some more med items. I got the sprays, but I don't know really what's going to be the most common, but it looked like the poultice, I don't have the stuff for it. So we're going to have to find out uh, like where the good stuff comes from. This you can make the gadgets, of course, like all the different things we had. Fences, all that stuff. 
Oh, let's make some... No, we've already got the maximum. Ooh, med spray. Okay, I think we're good. Equip. Yes, we got nine. We're gonna need that shit. Otherwise, I think we're good. Chops, mate. What do you reckon? Let's give it another shot. Is anyone else keen to jump in? I'll check my friends list, see if anyone's uh, sent me a little shkagingily ding. Assassin's Creed? Ah, oh, there you go. The new patch for Assassin's Creed is out today, people. Ah, oh, thank you very much, uh, Gixa Gamer, as well. Enquest. Hopefully these are Aussie people, but we'll see how it goes. Who we got? Oh, Yuki. Hello, mate. Who's Ghost? I This whole friend system is so slow. This is part of the reason why I don't really do friends that often, because it just takes so so long to update this shit. Yeah, okay, let's just accept it. Let's see what happens. Anyway. Oh, oh, you can test out your weapons as well. Let's test out the bow, huh? I wonder how you change ammo on it, though. Because I've got the... Uh, let's get a machete there. So that's square, that's our heavy... Oh, that's our heavy attack that we can do. Oh, good. Pretty good. Alright. Anyway, uh, I think we'll get into some gameplay. Yeah, I probably should make a PlayStation community, shouldn't I? Uh, we're just going to try that same one again, see how we uh, see how we go. And there's Chopper's loadout. So we're pretty similarly equipped at the moment. <laughs> um, oh, Chopper's got the machine gun turret. Maybe try put it up the top there, Chops, and you can shoot down on them. Wait, is this starting? Oh, Ghost joined the session. There you go, we get another person in there. G'day, Ghost. Who are you in the chat, Ghost? Brandon, this is Metal Gear. Metal Gear Survive. Oh. <laughs> uh, the shorts are so weird, man. You're trying to be survival... Whoop, I spat everywhere. Trying to be survival experts. And there's the gun turret there. Um, but you've got, like, these little shitty pants on. Okay, guys, let's let's ready up, mate. Uh, I don't know how I'll change my flame arrow. Oh, there we go. You can press square when you select your weapon, and it'll go to the thingy. Uh, Sergio, no, it's not for pre-orders only. It's not. It's only it's open to everybody. If it's not on your PSN, then it's just you have to wait for your PSN to refresh. But it's not a pre-order only. It's not. So now we can uh, we can check out the mounted turret by uh, by choppers. See if we can blow some people away. <laughs> hey Gix, um, have you played Terra before? Terra's actually I, I really like Terra actually. It's a pretty cool game. Okay, let's go. Is Ghost here? Oh, the smoking ghost. All right, Ghost, you shouldn't smoke, mate. It'll kill you. Because <laughs> you're a ghost. It would. Anyway. Oh, I'm pooped already. Wow, you don't have much stamina. I think it's probably... Hey, you can chop down trees, too. Oh, maybe we can make, like... Thank you, Chopper. <laughs> uh, maybe you can make, like, spiked fences or something with that. I, I really want to find concrete, though. That's a big thing that's holding us back. I've tried chopping buildings, but it doesn't do anything. Especially with the machete. It's not going to be too effective, but... Let's grab all this shit. Anything around here that says concrete? Plastics, chemicals. <laughs> it's just so funny, right? Running through and... Can we pick up those? That would be... I wonder if we can... No, it'd be great if you could pick up, like, already stuff that's already on the ground, but... Yeah, maybe we can use the wood for arrows. That's a good point. I'll have to craft some more arrows. Plastics from this one, I think. Okay. But I, I really do like the concept. What do you guys think? Do you think it's like a complete... They shouldn't have been called Metal Gear, but... I don't know. I, I'm 
kind of liking it at the moment. <laughs> it's definitely, it feels a bit weird that it's called Metal Gear, but otherwise it's um, pretty cool. I honestly think they just called it Metal Gear to try and like ride off the success of Metal Gear. I, I don't really feel it's that associated to it. In fact, I don't even know how much stealth element is going to play in it. It doesn't seem like it'll play much of a role. Unless it's in between waves or the single player is more of a, a version like that, so... Uh, I'm not sure about camos or anything yet, Brandon. Um, I haven't really had the chance to muck around with it. It looks like we can't really craft any new clothes or anything yet, but it looks like it'll be pretty, um, pretty expansive when you actually get into the game. I imagine there'd be whole different item sets and gear sets and everything, so... I'll try and get a few more materials before we move on. Okay, chill out, bro. Bro S. There's some more of that hood stuff. Yeah, it's using the ass assets of Metal Gear, but... I don't know, man. I feel they could have called it something else and it would have been, you know, it would have been the same game, basically, but... They're kind of using that name to get people into it. But I'm... I think it would be actually quite enjoyable if you got like three mates, you had voice control or voice commands on and stuff. I think it'd be... I think it might actually be a pretty cool game, but... Still, I keep saying it, but the big hinging factor will be the microtransactions. It really will. And if it's online competitive as well, the microtransactions actions are going to be, uh, yeah, not good. Uh, let's craft, we'll craft some more flame arrows, right? Excellent. Wait, I think we're at maximum already. Oh no, we don't have the stuff for it. Man, it seems like stuff are pretty expensive to craft. We've already got maximum normal arrows. So, uh, we'll see how this all goes. I bought some fences, didn't I? We'll put up... Oh, we've already got fences up. Thanks, bros. Oh, dudes. Okay, you guys do all the work and I'll stand back here like a knob. Um, maybe we can double fence this one, though. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Did I bring my fences yet? Uh, cannot place because of the surroundings. All right, it'd be a more effective way to place it here, wouldn't it? Durr, lucky I didn't put it down there then. Uh, let's put it here for now. What is that? Hey, cool man, little wooden barrier. Good stuff. So at least we can jump over the barrier and then like spike the dudes as they come in. Oh, there's the uh, there's a the gun turret up there too. The only thing is to remember, guys, um, once we finish this wave, it kind of blows up and it, like, destroys all the stuff around us. So you don't want to, like, blow your wad in the first round, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, Sergio, by refreshing your PSN store, I mean, when your country, in different countries, the PSN store, like here in Australia, it refreshes at midnight. So it's on their end that they refresh it. Like, not so much your end to refresh the store. If you know what I mean. Oh, look at the bodies pouring out of that warp hole. That's awesome. Good work, Ghost. Good work, mate. Chops, Chops, look at him. He's a madman. He's just ready to kill some shit. <laughs> okay, let's get in with Chops. Uh, let's change weapon and we'll try out the fire arrows. Oh, we're not going to need to. Oh, we're just cleaning them up. Looks like there's going to be some more coming out of that. There, maybe? Oh, there's some. You taking my targets, bros? Yeah, the thing is, we've, we've wasted both of our uh, gun turrets now because they're going to blow up at the end of the round, so. Oh, we got a Wanderer coming in here. Okay, pretty cool. Try the normal arrows out too. I I don't know, I like it. I kinda like it. 
I don't, I'm not fully sold on it yet, though. I don't know if I will. I don't know if I'll buy it. But at the moment, I'm having a bit of fun. If I could get a good group of people in, like a good group of uh, subs or friends to play it, then yeah, I'd give it a shot. Let's get some of this action going. Oh. Alright, maybe can we pick up spent... Oh. oh. We're, we're wandering pretty far from home right now, huh? Holy shit! <laughs> what a powerhouse! Boom! Okay. So you can see the turrets up the top all got taken out. It looks like we got scores, like points for them, but that's about it. Yeah, alright. I wonder if we'll be given a side mission this time. Man, beastly. So I guess taking the initiative and like intercepting them before they come to the base might be a good way to do it as well. So um, we'll put some fences and stuff up. But I think we've used most of our stuff already, right? Can we put one on there maybe? We'll also put one back here. Yeah, it, it'll be definitely a resource management type of thing. Um, oh, ch Ghost is copping it bad from the level 15. Okay, oh, we've got a quest down there. Alright. Is using that ammo bench free to resupply? No, the ammo bench, unless you do it from a quest, like we're doing now, um, it won't be free. You have to actually use resources to uh, resupply your ammo. So this phase here is really important to collect your resources and get ready for the next wave coming in. There we go. We did a side mission. The next one, the side mission is to clear out the, like, the base over here. We'll take a look at this base, actually. I think it was... That looks like it's out of bounds, maybe, but... This base, I think this is where our next side quest will be. Don't do that, mate. Um, wooden watchtower. Actually, this mission might be easy to clear out if you actually put a gun turret here. But it looks like that our next mission, we have to actually get in there and get the walker gear, as it said. Oops. All right, let's get back to base. Yeah, the bomb zombie's gonna, yeah, mess it up, but we'll see. Maybe we can jump out there and intercept the bomb zombies before they actually come into the base. That might be a good way to take them on, too, this thought. You'd think the zombies would just climb in the, climb in the window, huh? I guess they're not that intelligent, but... Alright, um, we gotta take the initiative on this one. But... I think a bomber comes from the start, from up here, to start off with. So we'll take one of these out as soon as they come in. Maisie, should you download the beta? Mate, it's free. Why not? Why not? Um, Denpo, I don't know how many gigabytes the beta is, mate. I'll check after this wave, though, for you, man. Just remind me, and I'll try and check. Oh, a bit short there. <laughs> oh, I still got him. Okay, that might be enough to slow him down at least. Oh. <laughs> I am not, not good at all with that one. <clears throat> okay, put an arrow in him too. Alright, bomber kill. So if we can take out these bombers before they become a real threat, and we'll set these guys on fire. <laughs> Ghost just jumps in there and rips them all up. <laughs> uh, good shit. It's definitely more enjoyable with more than one. Definitely more enjoyable. What do we got here? Looks like we got a few in here. Take these guys out. That should... That should stunt them enough. 
Where else have we got him coming in from? Oh, over here too. Alright. Oh, no. Let's go this. Oh, that's not... That is so not what I want to do right now. Okay. We got, we got one coming in here. Oh. The wind-up on the machete is a bit long for my liking, but... Um, let's go this. Fire on these bros. Hey. Oh, everyone all good? Yep, I think we're good. Oh man, the wind up is huge. No, 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 no. Okay, I gotta use a med spray. Uh, that's not it. Where is my med spray? Up here. Can I use the med spray? Dudes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're about out of time anyway, so that's pretty good. I don't feel like it did much in that one, but... <laughs> SDS, I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling, don't worry. Uh, what else we got? See, this Walker gear supply, I don't think we're, like, powerful enough to take it on. If you guys want to try it, we'll go see. Because if you can get the Walker, if the Walkers are the same Walkers from Metal Gear, they'll be hella good. I don't know how we're going to get over there safely, though. Maybe we can open the gate? <laughs> Ghost just shoots that shit down. He's like, I don't care. Okay, whoa. Dude. Oh. Ghost just ran in there and grabbed it. Just straight up. Oh man. Can't even stagger these guys. No. Okay, this, oh, what? Holy shit balls, man! <laughs> I need one of those. Look at that thing. Wow. <laughs> no way, they do have the walkers. Oh, loving it. That is amazing. Chop is there a third one? I think there's only two chopper. Sorry, man. How good is that? Ghost, are you... Have you been playing this for a while, Ghost? Because it looks like you know exactly what's going on, man. <laughs> Look at that thing. Ah, so good. Ah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, Australia's... Because Australia, we're one of the first in the world to tick over to midnight, basically. New Zealand gets it even sooner than I do. So, um, New Zealand and Australia are generally some of the first in the world to get the, uh, PlayStation Store updates and things like that. <laughs> well, thanks. I, I thought we'd have to go in there and clear out all the enemies, Ghost, but just going in there and stealing the things is great. Cool, man. Cool. How many... What ammo have we got here? Doesn't look like we've got ammo limitations, but... Okay, we'll... I'll guard this way. I suppose we can be pretty mobile with these, though, right? Well, I'm pretty pumped. I like it. I'm pumped. Oh, they're everywhere. Look at those. Three just from this section. Oh, shit. Is that something above me? Let the bodies hit the floor. Where are they coming from? There they come. Whoa! Blip. <laughs> oh, they're armored, these guys, too. Hey, alright. 
Oh, this has got a lot of spread on it. Like a lot of spread. Armored kill is good for points. Alright. Oh, wow. If we can take out the, uh, the explosive guy, he can kill them all. No. Oh, that is good fun. That is satisfying. That really is. Ah, I think someone made the point before, but if you take out their legs, it'll actually break their legs. So they won't be able to run. It seems obvious, but... The, the fact that they shatter is actually quite a satisfying kill. Feels good, man. <laughs> okay, I think I'll come down here and take these guys out. G'day, Aaron. Good to see you. And yeah, it's, it's actually pretty satisfying, that whole shattering thing. Oh, it looks like my thing's on fire, though, right? No, it's good. We're good. Where else? Anyone need help? See, this is where comms would be really good. You'd be like, I need help on this side or that side or heaps incoming from here. Like, it'd make it a, a really good team thing. You want a hand chops? I think chops is doing alright. I'm afraid if I press... I'm not testing the buttons too much. I'm afraid if I press any other button, it's going to boot me out of this thing. <laughs> Okay. Oh. We might actually... No, I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm not going to jinx anything. I wonder if we could have only taken one of these if the next one would survive for the next round. Looks like Ghost has got that locked down. Oh, we got a big target coming in here. Bomber. I want to get on him. Yeah, maybe he'll take out the other dudes. Oh, good stuff. Ah, this is good fun, man. This is really good fun. Why does Konami have to be such... Like, have such dodgy business practices? It's, don't you hate it when... Game companies you don't like release games that you really do like? And you're like, oh, I want to hate them. Just let me keep hating you, please. We got 54 seconds or see I'm smoking quite a bit here I wonder if we can repair it I doubt it Chopper's got 50 kills and he doesn't even have this uh, machine thingy oh there we go it's all over oh, so the arrows aren't that effective huh hopefully we don't have any more armored coming in look around, huh? Any armoured? Doesn't look like we have any armoured units coming in. I think we're good. I think we got this wave. We got a big wave coming in from here. Actually. No. I'm gonna just chill out. Not gonna risk it. If we survive the next wave, wave we get um S rank. Actually, that's three wave waves we survived, so... Huh. Good shit. <laughs> cool, man. Is that... That must be it, then. I guess we have to kill more if we're going to get an S rank. Thank you, Ghost. Thank you, Chopper. That was cool, man. I, I had a lot of fun. This game is definitely... <laughs> definitely one that you'd have to do, like, voice comms, though. That would make it really cool. You know, you're just speaking shit on chat, knocking over zombies. I think it'd be really great. How do you do that back thingy, Chops? Can we... can we do this? <laughs> In the vagina! Um... What else we got? Oh, can we do emotes as well? How do we do emotes? Oh, we can do the touchpad stuff, okay? Good shit. That was good fun. And we're getting battle points. 
Maybe battle points is the premium currency. I think it is. Maybe it is. <laughs> this looks like a really fun game. The only thing Konami needs to do is change the name of the game. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there would be a whole lot less backlash if they changed the name of the game. I think it's just a little bit of like spitting in the face of Kojima, the fact that they kicked him out and then made this game, which completely goes against Kojima's whole thing. So um, if they hadn't have done that, it wouldn't have been so bad. Of course, Ghost dominated. Caracool Mutton. There you go. It's got the the first aid symbol next to it. So I guess someone said before we can eat the food and it gives it to us back. <laughs> Ghost, they gave him an empty bottle. There you go, son. Like, oh, I'm going to receive my purple heart today. No. Empty bottle. There you go. I got the gold plate for the bomber kills. Shit. All right. Let's return to the staging area. Wait, or do we have to wait? Oh, there we go. Continue game. Good stuff, man. I... I think this is good. I actually... I'm having a lot of fun with this. I know you may not agree with Konami's whole thing, but if a game's fun, man, a game's fun. So, we'll see how it goes. But... I'm not... I don't know. I'm... I personally won't pre-order this until I know what the premium stuff is like. Hey, we got a machine gun turret. Oh, a recipe for a machine gun turret. Nice. Alright. Um, well, I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. I kind of want to keep on playing, though. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end the stream here. Thank you very much, Chopper Chopper Man. Uh, Ghost, I will continue playing, but at the moment I'm going to end the stream here just because uh, keeping the, the streams, if I go too long, they I know they just don't get watched. They get skipped through and it's, it's not a good deal. So I'm going to leave it here at an hour and a half. If you can't download this game yet, if you're wondering why you can't do it yet, it, you'll have to wait for your PSN to update, which uh, happens automatically in your country, like at 12 a.m. or whenever your PlayStation store ticks over. But it will be available to everybody. You don't have to pre-order the game. Um, it is open beta. I don't think you need PlayStation Plus, so um, get in there and try it out. I think it's a really, it's a lot of fun. Get some mates, just maybe have a few beers and play it. I think it's really good. Um, really good fun, but yeah. I am going to be hopping across to Twitch after this, um, where I will be playing a little bit more of it. So if you guys... Thank you, buddy. If you guys want to check out more action, it'll probably be, be a little bit more loose over there. Um, you don't need PS Plus? Okay, mate. Thanks. So I'm going to go across to Twitch. Oh, that's not it. Sorry. Don't click that link. It's twitch.tv. <laughs> Slash lemon eating cow. Man, I can't even type... Anyway, I'm going to be over at Twitch TV, Twitch.tv, and I'm going to be playing some more Metal Gear Survive. So if you want to check out more, follow me over to Twitch.tv, Lemon Eating Cow, and then we'll play some more games. Um, oh, I want to work out how to do the emotes. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun. And um, anyway, I will hopefully see you next time. Uh, if you did like this video, please leave a thumbs out. It ups up. It does help. Uh, if you've got any comments, suggestions, then down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, moo. Moo, moo, moo.